Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Battlefield 5 and is support useful? Now if you guys somehow stalk me or maybe you know this from the other videos I've made, I am not a machine gun player, period. I don't use automatic weapons in Battlefield. In fact, my favorite set of weapons is the sniper rifles and the DMRs, the semi-automatic rifles. Even now in Battlefield, on my assault, the gun that I use on assault is a semi-automatic weapon. I like my sniper rifle, and my medic is the lowest level class. Except, there's an exception, and that is the support class. Well, look at all this light on my face. Like, I like this, like, ooh, it's glowy, and it's not glowy. I don't know, I, I like that. But the class that I've been playing the most is support. And, I've realized that in this game, support is actually useful. In case you guys don't know, support has the role, it's kind of got a double role. It is the ammo person and also the person that can also repair vehicles. In Battlefield 4, there is a specific class called Engineer, who actually was the one that kind of dealt with the situation of vehicles. Battlefield 1, I never got into vehicles. But, um, basically support, you also had to carry, like, a wrench as support. But the ammo capacity really threw off support in all of these games, because you could hold a lot of ammo. I mean, Battlefield 4, you carried four magazines spare of ammo. Battlefield 1, you would carry a lot of ammo. Not so much ammo, but you still would carry a lot of ammo in Battlefield 1. Now, this time, in Battlefield 5 you don't have a lot of ammo. I think as a sniper who uses the Enfield, you have 10 rounds in the gun, plus 10 spares. Um, as a player, you know, that plays other classes too, I know that, like, my M1A1 carbine with extended mags just has one spare mag, or I think it's half a mag, I don't remember, a spare mag of ammo. So you don't have a lot of ammo. And ammo is very scarce, and you need to build those ammo supply stations, so support for ammo becomes really valuable. Me and my friend actually noticed that already we've kind of gotten to the point where we can survive. We can't survive a long time like a good Battlefield player, but we're not dying as often. And if one of us doesn't play support, we get screwed with ammo, and we have to go build an ammo station or just die or pick up a weapon or something. And ammo also becomes valuable because tanks... And explosives are both needed and better in this game. Explosives, you use them to punch through fortifications. Tanks are a lot heavier and, like, it takes more to take down a tank. So being a support with the big box of ammo to resupply on explosives is, like, needed. So all of a sudden, you have all these situations where you need an ammo person. And you pair that with... The fact that the support is the only person that can also repair vehicles, along with the person that spawns in a vehicle. But the support can repair vehicles, and vehicle health is actually interesting in this game too. Because you have to be outside the vehicle to repair it beyond what you can inside. Like, there's a limit to how much you can repair it inside. So it just adds all this stuff together. Plus, support has probably the best automatic weapons, in my opinion, in terms of damage. So it just adds all this stuff together to make it so, yeah, support is pretty much useful now. And Battlefield 1, it really wasn't that useful, I would say. Because just the way that vehicles operated, you could repair them really, really fast. And you didn't really need ammo because you could just run around and grab another weapon. I mean, I, I never ran out of ammo in Battlefield 1. And in this, in Battlefield 5, I'm running out of ammo. Like... I'm constantly, if I'm not playing support, running out of ammo if I'm playing all by myself. So I would love to know what you guys think about the support class in Battlefield 5. Do you use it a lot? I've somehow ended up using it a lot. And probably because of the mounted machine gun, because I like the play style of it. But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And welcome to the end of the long outro. I will see you guys in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.